just another avenue that we need to look at. Uh, another question, I think we've got about five or six questions all dealing with B12, uh, varying from a patient that has received B12 shots and now a lot of their functional symptoms have gone away or have gotten have lessened. Um, when let's see, gentleman asks, I've noticed that since being in the group that lots of people with FND also have fibromyalgia and B12 deficiency, um, as in my case, why is it common for this to happen? Uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, I mean, any, any neurologist, even a trainee one, ought to know that low B12, you should always be thinking about B12 when people have neurological symptoms, particularly uh, numbness, unsteadiness, um, and that's, that should be just the routine thing to look at. Low B12 doesn't cause all neurological symptoms. It doesn't cause seizures, for example. Uh, I think where things are, get difficult is that there is a group, I'm aware that there's, there's a sort of group of particularly patients and some health professionals as well talk, questioning whether the reference ranges are correct and whether you can get effects of low B12 uh, or B12 deficiency within the normal range. Um, I know there's quite a lot of controversy about that. I, I think it's reasonable to have some B12 if there's any doubt about it. But I would go back to the I'll go back to the to the point about diagnosis, which is that you don't diagnose FND uh, on the basis of just the test being normal. It's it's you've got to have these positive signs. And so if someone's got a positive feature of functional leg weakness, that's what they've got. And they may have a low B12 as well, and you want to treat that. They may have uh, fibromyalgia. Um, they may even have a neurological disease uh, process like MS as well as a function as FND. That's quite common. Um, you can make these multiple diagnoses. I'm not. Sh I'm not aware of any epidemiological evidence to that says that B12 is deficiency is particularly common in a range of functional disorders like FND and fibromyalgia. But I think a low B12 could trigger be a trigger for FND in some cases, which is why you sometimes see the association. 